Hello Virgo, welcome to your intuitive weekly reading. I hope that you are doing well. And I would like to say happy solar return to all of the Virgos out there as the sun has now moved into the sign of Virgo, as well as Mercury station retrograde in the sign of Virgo as well. I did a few videos and readings on that energy, on the retrograde energy in general. We do have, I believe it's six planets now, soon to be seven. Don't quote me on that, but we have a lot of retrograde energy. We are reviewing, redoing, rewinding um, in multiple areas of our lives and multiple different energies. So it is quite an interesting time. So we're going to start off your reading, Virgo, with the Heavenly Bodies astrology, astrology deck to get a feel for what energy this message is regarding for you. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Virgo. And I hope that you are all doing well. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check with your moon sign, check with your rising sign, your Venus sign, or any of the other zodiac uh, messages that may stand out to you, as we do have all 12 zodiac archetypes working through us and with us at all times. All right, Virgo, let's get started with you. What are the messages for Virgo at this time? Keep in mind these messages are timeless. So if you're not resonating with the message now, maybe check back in some of the previous Virgo readings that I've done to check back last week, last month, last year, as time is not a linear straight line as we are taught here on earth. That is human time. Uh, time is cyclical. It is, we always circle around. It is a spiral. So, with that said, Virgo, let's get into it. Messages for Virgo, please. Then we have Earth, Air, and a Square. So we have earth, which Virgo, you are an earth sign, which speaks of persistence, patience, and practicality. This is a slowdown period for us all, this retrograde period is asking us to slow down and be mindful, be mindful of what we are putting our attention and focus on on are you scattered amongst everywhere or are you focusing on one aspect at a time in life slow down be mindful be mindful of your thoughts be mindful of your words be mindful of what it is that you are participating in every any given moment of the day when we are multitasking and doing too much and all over the place this retrograde period will kick your ass. <laughs> I say this from experience and I say this with love. Things will, the accidents, things will go wrong. Um, things will come apart. So slow down and be patient and be mindful. We have air, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. So the reason for the slowdown is because we can slow down what we're taking in, what's going on in the brain waves, what we're taking in and what we're putting out. We, we move too fast in this world. Um, the, the fast pace of life can really sweep us up and get us kind of um, tossed around in almost like a tornado. Um, when we slow ourselves down and we are mindful and we are... Um, present to each and every moment we are able to capture life in a whole different viewpoint and perspective and um, learn a lot more about what life is truly showing us 
We have a square, a challenging situation, a mountain to climb. So you may be facing some big challenges in your life at this time. I haven't even checked the, the transits. I probably should have before I started doing the reading. But for whatever reason, and everything happens for a reason. For whatever reason, I did not. <laughs> but I'm sure that there have been some planets squaring other planets or the moon or the sun. And squares are challenges. Tension. So you may be feeling some tension. Uh, maybe you are moving too fast. Maybe you are scattered and fragmented and that will cause tension. All right, the first card out for you, Virgo, is contribution. There is, we are all here incarnated onto earth at this time to contribute um, in the journey of life between person to person, person towards earth, person towards animals. And um, each and every one of us has a deep passion, a flame lit with inside of ourselves. We are passionate about certain things in life. Um, these are the areas of life that you can really contribute to, um, pretty effortlessly because you are, this is your innate natural born gifts. Be patient, slow down. You may, I, I'm looking at the heart here as well in this picture. This is something that is close to your heart. For practicality, it, it may be, um, uh, and next to air, this is a very, something that is very practical for you, maybe not for others, but it is something that is in alignment with your personal energy. And this is, again, if you want to check out some of the videos I recently did on the retrograde energy that will go a little bit more in depth as to why I say this. Um, when we're putting our energy and our focus and our attention into something that is not in alignment with our natural energy it's going to you're going to feel the tension you're going to have challenges it's going to be difficult even and it's you're going to feel it you're not going to feel happy and joyous and excited about your day-to-day -day. and virgo you are about our day-to-day -day responsibilities and duties and things that we do on a on a daily basis as well as our health I'm guided to look at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is a sextile, a combination of tension and flow. Potential, there's potential here and a rewarding situation. So there's definitely some aspect of your life, and we'll get a little deeper into that, that is opening up or has been opening up for you that is offering you space to contribute your true natural born gifts, energy, something that is in alignment with you. There's tension that you're feeling because maybe you are torn between what it is that you truly desire and are, are feeling uh, a pull towards or just knowing, a deep knowing. We all have this deep inner knowing, a deep knowing as to what is really meant for you and are you telling yourself that I'm not able to do that because of all of these other um either responsibilities or what other people think or are telling you try to stay open-minded there's something here that you're meant to learn We have intuition and dependability. Virgo, um, one of the aspects of life that completely distorts your energy, Virgo energy specific, is guilt. 
there's something uh, that your intuition is picking up but it may always have it has it's just something that you've pushed down pushed down pushed down because of some form of maybe guilt or shame um something that has been taught to you maybe from an early age from your uh, religious upbringing your upbringing or your social conditioning or whatever and maybe uh, you also want to be dependable and care for others but are you over giving are you overdoing is that what is having you fragmented and torn in two different directions who are you loyal to and we have to be first and foremost loyal to ourselves or we're not really doing much but doing things for others and that's that and even then you're really just perpetuating uh and, and not learning a lesson that you incarnated here to learn. Let's talk about the square for Virgo. I feel like dependability was supposed to fall onto the square, but we'll get some confirmation here. Mm-hmm. And they have partnership. So there's definitely some tension here when it comes to a partnership that you have with another person. It doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, a partner like a marriage, but it definitely could be. I'm feeling that very heavily. It could be a business partnership. It could be somebody that you are in some form of partnership with. And this is what's challenging you. Uh, there's a big part of you and your intuition is telling you to break free and um, follow your heart and your true natural born contribution that you are designed to um, live through and give. Um, but there's definitely a mountain that you have been climbing here. You may feel stuck in a situation. We have compassion at the bottom of the deck and learning below that. So there's definitely something that you're learning. And I'm hearing compassion for self. Compassion for self and compassion for others. But where does that line fall for you, Virgo? It, compassion is one thing. But there, um, to actually be doing something for somebody else and not for yourself, um, that is basically self-sabotage um it's a lesson it's a lesson oh all right switching decks happens <laughs> what else do we have for Virgo and because Virgo you have such a big heart it's hard for you to see the difference between having compassion for somebody that maybe you have um, made a commitment to but uh, now realizing that the energy is not in alignment with each other it's not mixing it is not working in your favor and so these cards are telling me to have compassion for yourself and your personal journey here on the planet at this time there's a potential for some rewarding um, situation but uh, you got to go through the fire the tension the challenge and climb that mountain we tend to fall into multiple holes, multiple rabbit holes on the journey and can get lost in them, can feel like helpless and it's not our fault and that the universe is against us, yet um, everything happens for a reason and it is definitely for a learning lesson. Let's talk about this contribution for Virgo, please. Thank you. Yeah, the universe is assisting you and actually trying to push you in a positive forward motion here. 
so that you are able to contribute your true gifts, your true energy. And your gifts could just be living free so that you are happy and releasing some of the tension, releasing some of the responsibility that I'm feeling this heavy burden that you're carrying with you. There's an opening. There is a potential for beautiful, positive movement forward for you, Virgo. So please know that. Trust that. Hmm. We have emotional loss here. So you may have also sunk into some form of depression through your journey, which we all do. It is part of the process. But to get out of that hole is to be open-minded and to understand that this was this was happening to teach me something, to liberate me, to assist me in using my intuition, my feminine energy, not gender, but energy, my receptivity to life, my intuition, to be able to flow with the water of life. There's been a loss in your life that has really... He's holding his heart that has really touched your heart in a deep way. And you still feel this. You feel this loss. Uh, don't let this, if, if, if something is meant for you in your life, it will never be lost. Okay, so understand that. Things do get taken away when we're meant to learn a lesson and have um, experiences that teach us something. But um, when we come out of that lesson and it's understood, whatever has been lost, and if, it, if it is meant to for you, it will return. It, they, whatever it is for you. Okay. Okay. All right, Virgo. What has been challenging you is with regards to a person or a partnership of some sort. This could be a business partnership, a marriage, something that you've committed to that is no longer serving you. What I see here, what, what has been taken away are those who, uh, no, what this is, <laughs> who do resonate with you, who are in alignment with you, uh, other like-minded, similar um, energetic souls that maybe you did enjoy spending time with or um, really were able to co-create some beautiful things together. We have new beginnings at the bottom here. So there is an opportunity for a new beginning here, Virgo, for you. Um, so, but you have to truly believe that and trust that and follow the flow of life of where it is actually leading you. Follow your heart. We're going to get, um, okay, we're going to wrap this message up with the Native Spirit Oracle for you for one more message here. And if you're liking this video so far, Virgo, please don't forget to click the like button which is below the video here, the thumbs up button, if you're liking the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Definitely appreciate all of you and feel free to comment. I'd love to read all of your comments. I appreciate, I appreciate everyone who takes the time to do this. And if you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is Be The Change. 333.com and that information is also in the description box below the video all right so what is the final message here for virgo We have 
prayer feather. Love is flowing to you and through you. No matter what an individual is saying or doing, love him or her anyway. Gather your inner forces, silently and secretly love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being, even if someone isn't fulfilling your expectations. It's easy to love people when they're acting wonderfully. The true challenge is to love them when they aren't. Your native spirit wants you to know, Feathers in native cultures are often or often represent a connection with the creator. Birds often symbolize messengers between the two-legged humans and spirit. This is your time to love and be loved. The love that you send out into the world comes back to you hundredfold. There are times when the small concerns of everyday life need to drop away and be replaced by the majesty of your being. This is that time. Prayer feathers are decorated feathers that can be used for many purposes. In some traditions, prayers are placed into the feather. You can hold it to your heart or between your hands as you focus on your prayer and then tie it onto a bush so when the wind blows, it carries the prayer to the creator. Another kind of prayer feather is, is a decorated feather or a decorated bundle of feathers that are used for smudging sacred smoke ceremonies. The smoke is to cleanse the space as well as carry your prayers upward. The journey. For a day, love each person you encounter. Imagine a golden ray of light from the center of your heart radiating to the center of the heart of that individual. Notice how great you feel by the end of the day. So Virgo, it seems as though you're being challenged and you're being challenged to truly open your heart and not only open your heart to those who are opening their hearts to you, but open their heart, open your heart to those who have a closed heart, who are acting in pain. Instead of holding anger and resentment towards them, understand that they are only acting out in their own pain. So have that compassion. It doesn't mean you have to put up with certain things, but you can hold space and hold love in your heart. So that is the message that I have for you this week, Virgo. I hope that you find this helpful and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.